In just three weeks, one of the largest furniture employers in the state will cut hundreds of jobs. WCBI's Victoria Bailey spent the day in Amory where United Furniture Industries is preparing for the transition. My family, it's, uh, it's going to be kind of devastating, even though I'm a single, but uh, I, tr I try to help my children, you know, here and there, and uh, it's going to put a pinch on things, you know. This is the general consensus for more than 250 employees of United Furniture Industries after news. The Amory plant will become the Amory Warehouse. It's uh, sort of a surprise because, you know, for a minute we was... Uh, going full steam in my head, you know, in the next week or the next day or so, we dropped a bomb on it. Patrick Burns has only been with United Furniture Industry since September. He says news of the layoffs was disappointing. It was supposed to have been a giddy up go situation, you know. We was, you know, all of a sudden we find out that uh, we was running out of material to do this, running out of material to do that, and so then the next week, next thing you know, we, uh, Unemployed almost. Amory resident Keith Coggins says the layoffs are being felt outside of the plant as well. Anytime you have a, a business of that magnitude uh, that's going to be hiring that many people of the public workforce, it cr generates buzz for the communities. Each aspect of that business feeds off one another. And so if one of them lets up, then it's going to affect the other side of it, and it's just a, you know, it's a jockeying effect. And as residents in the city of Amory continue to wrap their mind around the layoffs, employees here at United Furniture Industry say the morale leading up to the official day is getting lower. They're paying for houses, paying for cars, sending their grandkids to school, you know, and first one thing like that, and this comes out of shock. In Amory, for WCBI News, I'm Victoria Bailey. The layoffs are part of a nationwide change by Lane Furnishings. The layoffs begin at the end of the month.